Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yeah. <laughs> Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. What? Now, to you Gotham Knights fans. Hmm. Look like look like Gotham Knights is going to be a four-player co-op. Listen to this. Look, looks like Gotham Knight is going to be a. It's. It looks like Gotham Knight co-op is expanded to four players. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's on PC. PC uh, games. Uh, and it says here, PlayStation. PlayStation may have leaked the reveal of Gotham Knights co-op expanding to feature four player at once, similar to its follow DC superhero game. Suicide Squad Killer Justice League. Either in the main campaign or possibly in an unrevealed new multiplayer game mode. Gotham Knights, folks, is coming. Says there are Gotham Knights was always meant to be a co op game, but was announced as only having support for two players at once, despite including four player playable characters and Rocksteady's similar Suicide Squad featuring full four-player co-op, the game was originally announced for 2021, but was pushed back to 2022 and won't, and won't now release until October. Says here, it's possible the de developers Warner Brothers Montreal use this extra time to Add support for four players co-op. According to the recent updated Gotham Knights PCN store page via Reddit, the game offers support for up to four network players. The description still states that Gotham Knights can be experienced in solo play or with, with one other uh, hero. If both are accurate, the WB uh, Montreal could be adding a separate mode with four players support outside the main open world game. Gotham Knights, folks, it's creeping. <laughs> Enjoy your Arkham Knights right now. We're in the month of May. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and today's what, the 7th? <laughs> yeah. The game is going to be good, man. Anyway, it says here, uh, where am I at? It says here, uh, PlayStation may have jumped the gun early in putting these details up. Gotham Knights appear in a recent tr uh, trailer for Summer Game Festi uh, Festival, which the game official Twitter account revealed, retweeted. So it's possible that game might finally get some new detail at the event next month, including the reveal of a four-player mode. Hmm. We'll find out on June 9th. Mm. Says here, yeah, get ready for, get ready at IMAX is learning us, no, it's teaming with us, teaming with us for Summer Game Fest on June 9th. And then it says here, uh, that's right, watch all the reveals, surprises, and announcements with your friends. And select IMAX theaters for full scale immersion. Say this is going to be cool. IMAX Live says we reach out to Warner Brothers Mon and w Mon WB uh, Montreal and we'll update this post if we get confirmation, including whether it's a mistake on PlayStation's part. And it says here elsewhere in DC Comics news. Suicide Squad has released a window of spring 2023. <laughs> Super Smash Warner Brothers game Multiverse has had several leaks and someone made an Unreal 5 Superman game. Hopefully we'll get a real one of those soon. <laughs> so anyway, a four player mode or four player co-op mode, Gotham Knights. The game is going to be big, man. It's going to be big. And me personally, when the Series X and PS5 came out, before they were announced, I looked at the list and 
and I mark I mark that game specifically. Yeah. Um, specifically, if I was gonna get a, a, a PS5 or a Series X or a Series X PS5, that is the game I'm going to get first before I get any other game. You know? And um, good thing I waited too. You know, and, um, just to get just to get some more info on the game and see how it was going, but. So far, so good. So, we're in the month of May right now. And, um, let's see, May, June, July, August, September, October. So, May, June, July, August, September, October. Six more six more, six months. And then, um, God, Gotham Knights will be here. So, plenty of time, plenty of times for, um, WB Games to work on the game and, Work out what they need to work out before it before they launch it, and um, add whatever extra content they need to add you know, for a day one launch. So, yeah, good thing I waited. So, um, got to give props to uh, WB Games, you know. And um, maybe they could, um, maybe you know, they'll put some hints of a single, pl a, si a, a new, a new Batman game after Gotham Knights. Maybe Batman Arkham Origins 2, you know. Something, some, something to look for, some, you know, that, that would be interesting. You know, because I think Arkham, I mean, Electrocutioner is not dead. Uh, Electrocutioner is not dead, or sh the one that, the, 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 the character that Joker, Joker put, kicked out the uh, window, <laughs> you know. But the chandelier saved him, so... Maybe they'll give us some hints and some clues in Gotham Knights about a new Batman game after Gotham Knights. So we shall see. But other than that, man, um, the game is going to be going to be good, man. And um, you can tell how committed you know WB Games you know, was to this series. I mean, to this game. So um, will Batman be playable? We don't know. But only time will tell. Will Alfred be playable? We don't know. Only time will tell. Will Commissioner Gordon be playable? <laughs> Only time will tell. We don't know. So, right now, all we can do right now is just wait until the 25th of October. And six months is going to go by pretty fast. It's, October will be here before you know it. So, yeah, um, now the, you know, if, if you haven't got a Series X or PS5, you know, now is the time to try to get one, you know. That game is coming, man. And, um, yeah. It's going to be good, you know. And, um, I'm sure there's a lot of people on YouTube that's going to try to do some comparison between that, between Gotham Knights and Arkham Asylum, Gotham Knights and Arkham City, Gotham Knights and Arkham Origins, and Gotham Knights and Arkham Knight. And they're going to try to pull, probably, probably try to pull, um, like hints and clues from all from all from all five games. That's Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, Origins, Arkham Knight, and Gotham Knights. They're gonna try to pull clues and hints and see where the next Batman game is gonna be based off. So yeah, um, Gotham Knights, man, it's, uh, it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be some, it's gonna be something, man. And, um, you best believe that the game is gonna be bigger than Arkham Knight. Gonna be bigger since bigger environments, a lot more detail and stuff like that. And you know, villains, you know, newer newer villains or probably some villains will return. You know, but other than that, you know, we just have to wait and see. But June 9th, they're gonna have a uh, a little festival, a little game festival, so. They'll probably show off show off Gotham Knights some more and um, get get our taste buds and appetites wet and stuff like that. But other than that, man, um, October the 25th it is. Gotham Knights. Anyway, <laughs> leave this video for y'all to enjoy with the um, with the article. Nice talk with you people again. Chris, still a Star Wars is such a thing. Poor Dark Side. Oh.